You know, what, what I want to do is I want to stem the massive dropout rates that we have in high school, first and foremost. And, and let's find out what that kid's interested in and then, and then help them to better themselves, to fully understand it and feed their passion with, an, with a lot of education. Vocational skills education back into the high schools. Not everyone wants to go to college. Let's not expect them to go there, and that's okay. But we need people to be prepared when they walk out of high school at 18 years of age, if they want to be a, a, a plumber, an electrician, if they want to get into culinary, if they want to be a, a, in the, a, an EMT, if they want to work for the fire department, let's help them to prepare for life at 18. And for the higher ed folks, they go on as bankers, lawyers, or whatever they want to do. And I think it, it's morally the right thing. We get, from my standpoint in Washington, I get rid of the, the, the Department of Education. You would, you would? Eliminate the Department eliminate of Education. Eliminate Be okay. gone. That would be gone. Let's, let's, the money is in the state's hands. And the states and the local school districts determine, determine how you educate your kids. So if you eliminate the Department of Education, does every state have its own standards, or do you have mm -hmm. national standards mm -hmm. for our public schools? How can someone tell us in any other location in this country what's best for our kids? I live in Salina, Texas. Small school district, small area, rural, rural area. We know the makeup of our kids in Salina, Texas. Let us determine how to best educate them. So you want to eliminate the national standards and have state standards? Absolutely. There's, to me, there's no reason to you have national. You want to get national. rid of No Child Left Behind? That yeah, doesn't make sense. It's, it's leaving everyone behind. Would there be federal money for this technical vocational training? Yeah, I, well, the money that's coming in, here's the big misconception is, you spend more money and you're going to have better education. Since 1970, we have seen the number of dollars spent per pupil go up, flatline on the results. Spending does not equal results. There's a huge gulf. And so the money is around, but the money stays in the hands of the states. Put it in the hands of the states, and our lawmakers, along with our local school officials, can figure out what's best.